This is a little ditty about our Lord and who He is and why He cannot be a separate person other than God Himself. That is simply not possible, it is not right, and it is not so. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 12, reading towards the end here, verse 31 specifically, it says, You shall not worship the Lord your God in that way, for every abomination to the Lord which he hates they have done to their gods, for they burn even their sons and daughters in the fire to their gods. Now, if Jesus was another person, that means God killed his own son, sacrificed his own son, did an abomination. It's an abomination to him to sacrifice your children to your gods. And it doesn't mean that it has to be the right God, because he didn't tell them to sacrifice their children to him. That's an abomination. We simply miss the real reality, the true reality of what it means to say the term the Son of God. They got it a little bit better back then. They understood it, and that's why they killed him for blasphemy, because they understood that to say, I am the Son of God, is to say, I am God in the flesh. They got that. They didn't believe it, or they chose not to believe it. But that is why they killed him, because he made a claim that basically, I am God. And just one more verse here. I do want to keep this relatively short. That goes to another side note connected to that. That I don't believe God knows everything in advance when it comes to our depravity. And along the same subject... In Jeremiah 32, verse 34, says, But they set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to defile it, and they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnon, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire of Moloch, which I did not command them, nor did it come into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. So see, God does not have evil in his mind like that. He doesn't. He doesn't think that way. He can't think that way. There's a lot of thoughts I have about that, which I've shared in other videos and I'll share again. But God does not know evil the way we know evil, and we can shock him, otherwise he wouldn't have brought the flood. That was something that just troubled him. The, the times that Noah was living in was so disturbing. But just to sum it up, God came here. God himself. God gave himself. Through the eternal spirit of God, Jesus came here as the man that God became and gave himself for you. That was not another person. Otherwise, God is a liar and God does abomination. But God did not do abomination. He did not make someone else pass through the fire, as it were. He did not do that to someone else. He did it to himself. Or more to the point, he let you and me do it to him. Because that's all we can do before we know him. We can only subject him to that type of suffering and pain. And once you see he went through what you and I deserve, that's love. That's one person. It's an operation of one God. He did it. He did it alone. He didn't do it to someone else. It's evil for us to sacrifice our children for our own sakes, for our own pleasure, for our own convenience, even if we think it's for something good, for the rain or the crops or whatever. It's evil to do that to someone else. God did not do that to someone else. He did it to himself. He volunteered. God gave himself for you. Don't diminish that. Don't belittle that. Don't believe in the polytheism of the Trinity or whatever other ones there are out there that separate him or even say he's not divine. He's only a man who happened to be perfect in every way. He was a perfect God and he still is and he's waiting to meet you. And if you will believe that, you can meet him right now. In Jesus' name, amen.